Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. We'd better bundle up. This may keep up for a while. Seems the Emperor is coming to Skyrim, and one of his own protectors was going to have him assassinated. Outsiders aren't trusted in Marka. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. Right away, sir. Always another big meal to cook. Figures. Move it. Get to work. Get to work. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Yes? Where do you want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Climbing back, and we'll be off. I used to play in the Yorgrim River when I was just a boy. It's true. I was never afraid of the stories about Forsaken Cave, of course. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. What? The Emperor? But I... I... Oh. Oh, by the gods. No. No, no. You can't do this. You can't!
So the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. Watch yourself out there. Climb and back and we'll be off. Solitude's a big port town, you know, full of sailors and their tales of faraway lands. Most of them's foreigners and liars, of course. The Emperor's cousin killed, right here in Solitude. I feel nothing but shit. Divines bless you. May the... Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Finally. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. Can we get some food instead? Father says Hail Sumner. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? This city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless. Stop but right there. They can't even tower is off limits until anyway. further notice. No way I trust them with the Emperor's life. What's this now? Uh, order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I'm I'm sorry. 
Your clothes, of course. I, I should have realized. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. You should be half the man he is. Please understand. Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just. Well, I just never expected the gourmet to be a Breton. It almost seems too obvious. Some of the greatest cooks have been Bretons, and. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right, what next then? A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course, I'm sorry. One giant's toe, there. What, uh, what next? My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple, yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe, after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Understanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Here we are. Quite. Gods are Get that nervous. Reason. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Plotting your assassination. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can The gourmet! This is such an honor! Now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... the gourmet. Ah! The potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Ah! By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But 
I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her, and make sure there's nothing left to bury. There's someone there. Time to end. Where are you? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? So be it. to all the cities in Skyrim. Where do you want to go? I went straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Never should have come.
starting to wonder. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assume as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <clears throat> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <clears throat> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <laughs> roasted alive. Come on. Listener, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. There's got to be a way out of here. devil I don't see you helping I'm not exactly built for manual labor now come on you've almost got it one more oh yeah. there can you get it open I think so just hold on a moment you must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before. You. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. 
And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nazir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. I'll admit. I'm having trouble. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. Lead. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmph. <laughs> All right then, go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet that bet and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. I've never met one of them cats. Ajit, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Come to Olava for a reading, did you? Sorry, pup, but I'm not quite in the mood. Token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me. You're a friend of Gabriella's, then. Well, 
I guess we both know why you're here. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I, I surely can. It, it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's, it's not as specific as you might want, but... Yes, I, I will do this for you. Please, relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow. Lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others. A child of night. A stalker of the sands? Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood. Such blood. Wait, there's something else. A potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deepwood, Redoubt, far to the northwest. Through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old. A dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. No, no, that is all. Now, now please. I find myself very weary all of a sudden. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. This or is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, home. the Imperials. We drink to our youth. Today's coming. Well, I'll be damned. We heard you were dead. Motier's in the back room if you've got business. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. By the gods, you, you're alive, but I had heard your sanctuary, please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that, I wanted the emperor dead, the true emperor, I still do, it was Morrow, he, you mean after all that's transpired, the dark brotherhood will still honor the contract, why this is astounding news, wonderful news, the emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long, He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Oh, yes, Mum. Make sure it gets done. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. 